what's up you guys this is fury 10 and welcome back to the channel so today i want to talk to you guys about this article talking about bedesta's p hines uh not a vending fallout 76 because it was never an option and that's not how they're wired and first of all i gotta give them props because they stuck to this game regardless of the harsh criticism a lot of hate but a lot of well-deserved criticism uh, that the game when it was launched it was in a horrible state it was buggy glitchy it had so many problems it was to expect it, and i'm pretty sure bedesta also expected this but not to the level that it was received uh one of the things that i believe the majority of fans that probably never touched this game was because of the fact that it was made in into a multiplayer world where there was no npcs that was one of the red flags that a lot of fans had that i was like nope not touching this game and i felt like when the game fell just because of the amount of glitches it more solidified but this had gone into a whole wrong direction because they were trying to do something new but let's talk about a little bit more about this interview right uh, obviously bedesta has acknowledged that you know fallout 76 was well received with a lot of criticism from the community and during the company's 2019 e3 press conference studio director todd howers has talked about opening about the game's failures new content and features have been promised including a brand new battle royale which you know a lot of people even my including myself when i heard that in the beginning i'm like no nope, i'm not touching this but you know what i gave it a chance i i'm almost i'm i'm in the thought you know don't hate something until you not try it and i tried it and i actually enjoyed it so if you guys are in the same thought i believe you should guys give it a go because you might find otherwise that you might like it and you might be missing out man it's actually pretty fun Talking to GameIndustry.biz, but this the Pete Hines talked about the misstep with the game and how in some ways in the studio's reputation might have been at stake. Which is true because there was there hadn't been any massive failure until today. Probably the closest one was ESO Online, which was a game also that was in a bad state. Fans didn't like it, but it by uh, the months and updates, it was able to garner those uh people that they lost and probably is at this point really popular and they're hoping that with fallout 76 is falling into that trend which personally i hate the way games are being made nowadays where the game is as a live service it's brought into a shitty state and most likely these developers and executives or publishers they know that the game is in, in a cap uh, crappy state uh, but in hopes that you know, gamers give them that chance to update it, fix the game within within a year, which I find pretty pretty shitty in a way, because if they're gonna do games like this, they can do one or the other. One, they can release it in an early uh, access uh, the game and give it at a price that it deserves to to be in that state right to be purchased so if like let's say fallout 76 uh they knew it was going to be bad originally they could easily sold this for 20 bucks at tops and even if the game was at a shitty state i believe a lot of players would have been forgiven but at 60 dollars, that is a whole different story you expect games to be bug free have plenty of content and no frustrations playing the game like i can't even tell you how many times i got disconnected from uh fallout 76 that it, it just want to have my hairs pulling aside from other game breaking glitches that it, they fix most of them at this point i believe they fix most of them but who knows and but this is bp of marketing added that there's also an element of pride by not throwing in the towel for sure that that had amounted to do with it heinz replied when asked about the brand's reputation bgs is a team that is made of a lot of very highly successful things still in my opinion they are most of respected and decorated studios in the world there is an element of pride not that we don't quit and give up way but we need to show and prove that we're going to stick with it and we don't just hit some adversity and throw up the hands and go up oh, this is it this is too hard that i probably had a little in there <laughs> let's do something else that's not how we think about things either as a publisher or a studio I believe that nowadays a lot of studios a lot of publishers don't want their developers to take risk on making new ips which makes it a little stagnant they decide to go with what they know works like call of duty is basically a perfect example of a cash cow which if you see the same thing thing over and over you get bored uh, i mean especially 
you know people that play games for so long that you decide you want to see different things and and i know that as a creative person uh it might be really hard to make new ideas and and afraid to fail this is one of the reasons that maybe i'm one of the few people that kind of give a slight pass for bethesda with final 76 because they're trying something new they don't really have a track record of you know fucking over the, their fan base and they stick with you know what they say and improve on it so i saw uh, that's why I, I still kept with fallout 76 i still love bethesda and even though they kind of seem like they screwed us over in the beginning they're rectifying that obviously i got my canvas back <laughs> <laughs> which is here which is here right here it was not that crappy nylon one but uh you know I mean, it just shows that, and it just goes to show you that sometimes the right type of criticism helps developers and the players both grow. So, and if you guys are one of those that, you know, just want to hate on it just because they didn't do exactly what you wanted, come on, man, they're bringing Starfield, the Elder Scrolls 6, man, that's, that's, you know, I know that it's years away, but they gotta try other stuff new man they cannot just do the same thing we gotta give them a little a little pass for a failure it, it would have been a different thing if they uh just made the game they got the money and they and then left and run i think that would have been horrible all right guys that is all i had to say let me know down in the comment box below if you're one of those that still play the game you you quit long time ago or you never even picked it up i want to know who you know what type of people you are and uh if you haven't done so already might as well hit that like always remember to comment share the video if you want to share the love and if you haven't done so already hit that subscribe for more videos like this and remember that this was fury 10 i'll be seeing you guys later